Hi guys, let's see today's question. Today's question is based on the concept of circles and quadrilaterals. Let's understand the question first. It says ABCD is a quadrilateral which has the area of 18 square units. And further it is saying AB is parallel to side CD and AB is two times of CD. So if I say, let's say this is AB and this is CD. So AB and CD are parallel to each other also. And AB is two times of CD. So let's say if I keep CD as L. So CD is a side of distance L. AB becomes 2L. Right? So therefore AB becomes 2L. Further it is saying AD is perpendicular to AB and CD. So AD this side is perpendicular to AB and CD. So this and this becomes 90 degree. It's saying if a circle is drawn such that it touches the quadrilateral in all the four sides. So it touches the quadrilateral in all the four sides like this. We have to find the radius of this circle. Right. Let's do that. So first of all, before starting with the question, if I will do some constructions here. So I can do a construction that I can draw a line which is parallel to AD through point C. Right. So I can draw this line that is parallel to AD and draw I should say CM, let's say CM parallel to AD. So this point becomes M, right? When this is M, now I know if, see, if I'm drawing a line parallel to this, so if this is 90, this is 90, this angle also becomes 90 and 90. So this ACAMCD becomes a rectangle, right? So AMCD is a rectangle. And when it is a rectangle, I know opposite sides of a rectangle are equal to each other. So when opposite sides of a rectangle are equal to each other, this CD is L. So AM also becomes L. Right. And when I get AM, I can find BM as well. So BM becomes AB minus AM. That is 2L minus L. That is L. So I get this is also L. Correct. Now, Let's go further. Here, if you see, if I have, let's say this is a center of circle. If I draw this radius, this radius, if you know the idea, radius is always perpendicular to the tangent, right? So in a circle, radius is always perpendicular to the tangent. So this radius, if I draw, this is a tangent to the circle. So this becomes perpendicular. Also, if I draw this with this, so radius again, perpendicular to the tangent again. If three angles are 90 degree, the fourth angle has to become equal, right? So if I name this, let's say this is X, Y, and Z. Now, if you see this quadrilateral A, X, Y, Z, all the four angles are 90. Also, the adjacent sides are equal to each other. When the adjacent sides are equal to each other, it becomes a square, right? So A, X, Y, Z is a square. Right. So that becomes a square. Now, here also, if I draw this, this is also radius. So radius is again perpendicular to the tangent. So this also becomes a square. And when these two are squares, all of the sides become R. So all these sides are, are actually. And if you see now, I can get the side AD's measurement. That is R plus R. So I have that as well now. This is 2R. Now what I can do here is I can see AZ plus ZB is equal to AB. Right. So I will draw it in a different color actually. Now if you see this is AZ and this is ZB. The total angle, total length is AB and total length is 2L. So this is 2L. AZ, AZ is nothing but the radius. So R plus ZB. So ZB becomes 2L minus. 
So I get the distance for ZB and it is 2L minus R. So this is 2L minus R. If I also find this much length, this length, if you see, if I put a name here, let's say O, DO plus OC is equal to L. So OC in that case becomes L minus R. So this is your L minus R. Now, if you know one more idea that says, if I draw, if I want to draw tangent from a point outside the circle, I can draw two tangents to this circle and the length of both of these tangents are equal to each other, right? So length of tangent segments drawn from a circle outside the circle or from a point outside are always equal. So when they are always equal, this, if you see, this and this part becomes equal. So if this is L minus R, this part also becomes L minus R. And if this, tangent segment and this tangent segment also will become equal. So ZB and let's say this is N. So ZB and NB are equal again. So ZB, I'll write it here, ZB and NB are equal. So NB also becomes 2L minus R. And likewise, we discussed already, OC and CN are also equal. That also makes CN as L minus R. So I get the length of the entire side that is BC and that BC becomes AN plus NC, right? So this is 2L minus R plus L minus R. That makes it 3L minus 2R. So the entire length of BC is 3L minus 2R. Now let's see further. If you see this triangle now. So if you see this triangle, if this is 90, this also becomes 90 and that makes it a right angle triangle CMB. I'll draw it on the other page. So there is a right angle triangle CMB with the hypotenuse here becoming 3L minus 2R, MB becoming L and CM if you see CM is nothing but equal to AD because it is a rectangle and since AD is 2R, CM also becomes 2R. So this makes it 2R. If I apply Pythagoras theorem here, I know hypotenuse square is one side square plus other side square. So if I expand this A minus B, the whole square becomes 9L square minus 12LR plus 4R square is equal to 4R square plus L square, right? So 4R square, 4R square gets cancelled. You are left with 8L square is equal to 12LR. So if I cancel this L and L, 4 twos are, 4 threes are. So that gives me L is 3R by 2. So that is basically 1.5 times R. So now we have a relation between L and R that says L is nothing but 1.5 times R. Now let's concentrate on the area of the entire quadrilateral. We have been told that area of the entire quadrilateral is 18. Let's understand. So area of this entire quadrilateral, if you see, I can divide this entire quadrilateral into two parts. One is this rectangle I have. And the other is this triangle or a right angle triangle. So this rectangle, if you see, it has its sides L and 2R. So area of this rectangle becomes 2R into L plus if I see this triangle, the area of the triangle is half into base into height. So half into L into height, which is 2R again. So half into L into 2R. So I understand I can take out 2R and L common. I will be left with 1 plus half that is 3 by 2. So 3 by 2 into 2R into L. 2, 2 gets cancelled, you get 3 R L. Now further, if I want to solve this, I already know area of the quadrilateral is 18 square root x, right? So 18 becomes R into L into 3. So R into L becomes 6. Now when I know this, R, L is what? 3 by 2 times R. 
that is 6. So 3 1s, 3 2s. I get r square as 4, and that tells me the square of 4 for a number I get is 2. So square root of 4 becomes 2, and hence I get the radius of the circle that is r is equal to 2. So radius of the circle is 2 units in this. And if you see the option which matches with the answer in the question, that is B. So the correct answer for this question is B. Right? I hope you have understood this question. You just needed to find all the lengths in the entire diagram. And then you needed to apply this Pythagoras theorem to get this side BC. And further, you just needed to solve the question using the areas of the figures. I hope you have understood this. We'll meet again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe if you are finding this really helpful. Thank you.